Hi everyone, I am Miao. Welcome to my channel. You can tell this video is different from my normal video. Usually I do tutorial for cruciate sewing and the thread flip, which is also part of sewing. But today's video, I want to make a very casual one. Next Monday gonna be my cousin's wedding and he's in Pittsburgh, I live in Columbus, so I gonna travel there on this weekend. Today is Wednesday, so I have like three or four days before the wedding. And yesterday was our local thrift stores, everything 50% off day. So I got lots of cute stuff to uh, flip, like this one here. I can talk about it later. The thing is, like I have three or four days, I want to see how many things I can make during this time. So this video is not about tutorial, it's just uh, about what I saw. If there's something after I saw it, I really like it, I may make a separate tutorial for it. Now just uh, start today's sewing. This is the first thing I think I want to make change. You see how cute it is. It's all small giraffe here. Giraffe is my daughter's favorite animal, so when I saw this shirt, I have to got it for her. You can see this is a shirt for adult and I'm gonna flip it into kid size. It could be very simple. So let's do it. This shirt in about an hour, and now uh, I pick it the outside. Here comes the strawberry. Now it's six o'clock, and uh, my kids are watching TV, and I can have time to do my second sewing project, and it is this one. This is just a shirt that I like its color and it's print. I'm think of make it into a shirt top. Shirt. I don't know how to pronounce that. But I got this from Amazon like last year and I haven't used it. So I think it's a perfect project to do. 
I'm not sure I can finish it today. Anyway, let's start. The next day and I finished the bodies. Look how tiny it is got. But I tried it, it fit me perfectly. And I'm working on the sleeves now. Hopefully I can finish it within an hour. And here's the thing, I think I'm gonna change the plan. I know at the beginning of this video, I said I'm gonna have three or four days to sew before the wedding. But I just realized I got a lot of work to do before we depart. We're gonna depart on Sunday, so I have a Friday and Saturday. I think those two days I will focus on all the work I need to do and only uh, do small sewing for today. So first uh, I'm gonna finish this item, of course. But after that, I don't know if I'm gonna start the third one. Maybe I just do some finished touch for the things I already made. And there's two items I made for the wedding I want to show you. And I don't know, let me just uh, finish this first and say what I'm gonna do after that. this top yay well it actually still has a lot of thread and need to be cut off but i just cannot wait to show you the result i'm so happy with how it turned out i think it's so cute i'm totally obsessed with it the only thing i'm not sure is this ruffle here i don't know if i want to remove it or just leave it like this but i'm gonna decide it later for now i just want to wear it and enjoy it well, actually, now I have time to do the third item, but since, as I said at the beginning of this video, this is supposed to be a casual sewing vlog, so I don't want to push myself too hard. I think what I'm going to do is just do some touch-ups for the already finished items and show you some wedding stuff and call it a day. So let's move on now. You may saw this dress from my previous video. Well, you may not because that's not a very popular video. Anyway, I like this dress a lot and I wear it a lot, but I usually wear it with a tank top under it because the fabric is very beautiful but it sits through. So what I'm gonna do, I think I want to iron on an uh, interfacing on it to, I don't know, I don't know if that work, but I'm gonna try it. So let's do it. since this dress have those gathering here and along the waistband so it's actually a little bit harder than I expected but it's turned off beautifully and I'm very happy I did it now I can move to the next project in agriculture the wedding color traditionally is red 
So in our culture, the bride is going to wear a red dress. But since my cousin's wedding is going to hold in America, and they're going to go west way, so the bride is going to wear white. But she wants all the female guests to wear a red dress to bring them good luck. I have a red dress when I get married, I still wear it. But my daughter doesn't have one, so I made her one. Let me show you. Ta-da! I like this dress so much. Look at all the details. The puff sleeves, the ball hair, the glitter to the lace tray, and look at this. <gasps> how beautiful it is. And I have a petticoat under it to make it puff. Well, I like this dress a lot, but here's one thing I want to add to it. I let my daughter wear it for about half an hour, and the whole time my daughter just run around, and never stop, kept moving, and the sleeve kept falling off like this. So I think I want to add someone to secure the sleeve to keep them on her shoulder during the whole wedding. And here's one more thing I want to show you. I also made her this handband to match the dress. See, here's a little mini mouse. Now let's start to work. It. Now I'm very tired. All I want to do is take a nap. But before that, let me show you one last thing. This. I made this as wedding gift for my cousin and his wife. Uh, I need space to show it to you, so let's move. I think that's all for today's video. And I will make a tutorial for the top I made for myself. And that's it. See you next time.